The teen's mother says his death could have been easily prevented. Eyewitness News reporter Leo Stallworth has more as she fights to make sure no other family feels her pain. Today, uh, we're here to announce the filing of a lawsuit against the Antelope Valley Union High School District for the death of Jonathan Alfaro. Jonathan Alfaro died as a result of the school district's negligence. Attorney Michael Carrillo filing the suit on behalf of the victim's family claiming school officials at Pete Knight High School in Palmdale failed to supervise the school's parking lot preventing students from driving recklessly. Carrillo releasing cell phone video to Eyewitness News showing a speeding motorcycle in the parking lot as well as someone doing a wheelie on a motorcycle. Here's a truck burning rubber in the parking lot. Carrillo saying Jonathan, a student at the school, died as a result of falling out of the bed of a truck in the parking lot. The attorney claiming the person behind the wheel of the vehicle was recklessly driving, lost control of the truck after hitting a speed bump, causing Jonathan to fall out of the truck, suffering fatal injuries. The tragedy happening February 18th. He fell off the truck, sustained multiple injuries to his head, to his legs, to his body. Later, he went through four or five surgeries, including brain surgeries, and unfortunately, he died. Because of this stupidity, I do not want any other mother or father to have to think about having to go through this because he's dead, and now part of my life is dead. The victim's mother outraged, arguing she did not send her son to school to die. A mother who would never think that she would drive her son to school, he would not come back okay. We're here today to demand justice against the school district. We reached out to the school district for comment, but have yet to get a response. Carrillo saying this about the driver of the truck that Jonathan tragically fell out of. We have recently learned that one of the minors that was driving the trucks has been charged with misdemeanor vehicular manslaughter. She didn't have to be charged with a crime if school administrators, school officials had intervened, had stopped this conduct going on, this negligent act. Leo Stallworth, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.